been making stop motion videos since I was a lonely 16 year old in my bedroom. Just kidding, I was never lonely, but I was 16. In fact, the first video I ever created was a stop motion. I uploaded that pixelated file to my Facebook. It got 29 likes. My aunts and uncles went crazy over it and I have not stopped making stop motion videos since. So today, I'm gonna bring you along with me. We're gonna make a stop motion video together from start to finish. This is a Scribbled by Sophie original. We're taking it all the way back to my first form of art. It's gonna be good. So, step one is to think of an idea. David and I have been going to this cafe that just opened up next to our apartment. It's a small business and I really love them, so I'm gonna make a stop motion for them. Next, you'll want to create a plan. This could be a storyboard or a shot list. It's really up to you to decide whatever format helps you visualize your stop motion. Sometimes I scribble a messy shot list on a notepad. Sometimes I jot it down in my notes app. And other times I create an organized table in a Google Doc. It really just depends what I'm feeling. Okay, now you're ready to get your materials together. This isn't always quite as simple as it sounds. You might be gathering something that you already have around your house, but sometimes you're creating props at this stage, or you might be taking a trip to the dollar store or the art store to pick up what you need. In this case, I'm grabbing coffee beans from my kitchen. A pro tip for stop motions is that it really helps to have materials where there's a large quantity of little pieces like cashews, beads, buttons. That way you can get them to like move around in a really fun way. And I'm also creating three small paintings as props. Next, set up your camera or your phone for a top-down shot. Ideally, you'll have a tripod for this, although I've definitely done it without by just adhering my phone to the edge of an elevated surface, like a table, and setting up my stop motion frame below it. It's great to have some sort of backdrop too, like a big piece of paper or fabric, just to keep your shot nice and clean. I got this nifty thing from Ikea in the kids section. It was super cheap. I love having cheap materials for certain things so that I can use them and not feel bad about wasting them. Now you're ready to shoot your scene. You're gonna carefully move each object little by little and take pictures after each small movement, like this. Having a clicker so that you don't have to press the shutter release button every time does help to speed up the process. Although I'm still waiting on mine in the mail, so you can definitely make a stop motion with that one. So I just got halfway through introducing the croissant sandwich and coffee and I realized I really like them and I'm gonna have to cut them up because I want it to look like they're being eaten and drank. So I decided to scan them just in case that idea doesn't work out. I do that often just so I have a backup and I can always use those digital images and kind of like create stop motion and final cut. I'm so sure that I've made a mistake. This is gonna look terrible. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to end up using the digital copies, but let's see. Okay, I'm done. Once you've shot your full scene, you're ready to string your pictures together. At this point, you're gonna import the photos into any video editing software. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but you can use free programs too, like iMovie. Here I'm dragging all the photos into the timeline at once, and I'm changing the duration of each clip to be two frames. Then I watch the clip through to see if there's any images that don't belong and sort of clean it up a little bit. I do any color editing that I need to do, but then I'm pretty much done. Oh, and lastly, add some music. I try not to judge my video too harshly until there's music because it does a lot to bring up the pacing. I use Epidemic Sound, which I highly recommend. There is a subscription fee for about $15 a month, but their library of copyright free music is huge and well worth it in my opinion. There's a referral link in the description if you're in the market. And ta-da, you're done. Now you get to watch your hours and hours of hard work end up in a 15 second clip, fun. So that's how I create my stop motion videos. It's a pretty simple process, but what I love is that you can take it pretty far and get really creative with it. It's such a flexible medium, and it's just a really fun way to illustrate a concept or tell a story. 
So hopefully that gives you the confidence to create your own stop motion video. They're so fun. Mm -hmm.